Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Osman Ali and I'm recording the video for our first example related to the purchasing power parity chapter. The objective of the example is to calculate the forward rate or the future spot rate of the Australian dollar to USD. Now, we as an American, uh, the American inflation rate will be our domestic and uh, in the American currency, which is the USD, will be our domestic currency as well. So we expect our domestic inflation rate to be 1% for the next year and the Australian inflation is expected to be 6% for the next year. Assuming that Australian dollar is equal to 1.20 US dollars in the spot market, which is today, we are supposed to calculate the forward price that what will be the price of this Australian dollar after one year. Now, the solution to the numerical is in two steps. Let's go to the solution part of the numerical and let's see how it is solved. So, uh, I have shifted the data uh, from the numerical. So, we have this inflation domestic 1% and inflation domestic is actually uh, representing the US and the Australian inflation rate, which is the inflation foreign is 6%. Now, in order to know what will be the future expected price or future price or forward rate, uh, we will go two steps. Our step number one would actually be to calculate what will be the change in the foreign currency. So E represents the change and F represents the foreign currency here. So the formula for the EF is uh, one plus the inflation that we have inside the domestic country divided by the inflation that we have inside the foreign country minus one so that's like this is one package minus one and then at the end you can multiply it with 100 if you need that in exact percentage so let's incorporate the values here now the inflation domestic we are solving an american book numerical so the domestic interest rate is the U.S. interest rate, which is 1%. So 1% would become 0 0.01. And the foreign interest percentage is 6%. So this would become 0 0.06 minus 1. When we, in the next step, we will plus it. So it will become 1 plus 0 0.01, going to become 1.01 .01 divided by 1.06 okay let me yeah 1.06 and then minus 1 so what we will do is now we will actually divide the uh, we will divide 1.01 .01 by 1.06 so we get a value of 0. Point 95 okay 0 0.95 minus 1 okay and this will become if I subtract it this would become minus 0 0.047 if I multiply this with 100 so I get a percentage value and that will become minus 4.7 percent it means that the foreign currency which is Australian dollar in our example will decrease in value by 4.7 percent now if it decreases by 4.7 percent so then how much exactly uh, the future exchange rate will be so let's let's do that in an another uh, form so we have this uh, step number two here and the step number two is forward rate is equal to spot rate multiply by one plus EF okay so what is our spot rate the spot rate that is given to us in the numerical is that one Australian dollar is equal to 1.20 USD so our spot rate is 1.20 and our expected change is minus 0 0.047 this is what we expect to change so if I open the parenthesis bracket this will become 
वन माइनस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फोर सेवन सो फर्स्ट आई विल डू दी सब्ट्रैक्शन एंड देन आई विल डू दी मल्टीप्लीकेशन सो इफ आई सब्ट्रैक्ट और इफ आई डू वन माइनस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फोर सेवन इट विल गिव मी अ वैल्यू ओके वन पॉइंट ट्वेंटी विल गेट बाय इट सेल्फ मल्टीप्लाई बाय जीरो पॉइंट नाइन फाइव थ्री एंड व्हेन वी मल्टीप्लाई दैट वन पॉइंट ट्वेंटी सो इट विल गिव मी अ वैल्यू ऑफ वन पॉइंट वन फोर थ्री सिक्स इट मींस दैट इट इज एक्सपेक्टेड दैट वन ऑस्ट्रेलियन डॉलर विल बी इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट वन फोर थ्री सिक्स यू एस डॉलर्स एंड दिस इज एक्चुअली कॉल्ड एज द फॉरवर्ड रेट ओके नाउ फॉर हाउ मच टाइम इट इज द फॉरवर्ड रेट लाइक इट रिप्रेजेंट्स आफ्टर थ्री मंथ्स वन ईयर सो दैट एग्जैक्टली डिपेंड ऑन वट वॉज द इन्फ्लेशन डेटा बेस्ड ऑन इफ द इन्फ्लेशन डेटा वॉज एनुअल दैन दिस इज एनुअल ऑल्सो दिस इज आफ्टर वन ईयर फॉरवर्ड रेट इफ द इन्फ्लेशन डेटा वॉज क्वार्टरली सो दैट्स ऑल्सो क्वार्टरली सो दिस इज द सोल्यूशन of uh, or this is the way how you calculate the future expected rate or the future spot rate uh, thank you very much ladies and gentlemen for your time